Yo, Midrin and the Twilight Court just showed up in the Avengers book. I am fucking mind blown because I'm gonna go in depth about these people because you have to read some old, not old shit, but some last year's shit. So you're gonna have to go read Timeless from 2022. This is Kane right here. And at the time when everyone was reading this, everybody was confused like, what the fuck is the point of this book? But then I went back to this. I'm like, I remember these people. And look at the writer, Jed McKay. So this is all his writing. And this book now makes a lot of sense. So we start off with Kane, you know, doing his Kane shit, just conquering and stuff like like he always does. And, you know, he looks menacing right here. He's like, I'm Kane the Conqueror. I can do the fuck I want. Ugh. And then he just kills like innocent people and shit. And he's like, just kill them off. Just kill them all. I'm the fucking Conqueror. You know, basically Kane shit. Then we go a year and subjective time, right? So like of his, of his lifetime, I guess, because he time travels a lot. And he's just in his fucking like his like ship, whatever. Just, you know, talking to himself, monologuing and stuff like that. And then we see the Mandarin guy. And this is the first time we see him. And Kane is like, who the fuck are you? How the fuck did you get in my like defenses? Like, who the like who are you? So Kane starts fighting him, and then we see the Twilight Court show up. And we're like, who the fuck are these people in the in the timeless book? Like, hello? So Kane's like, all right, you guys win. I'm gonna time travel because I'm gonna come back and fight you guys, but I gotta get out of here. Cool part about this is when he time travels, you see little glimpses of, of stuff. What's happening in current Marvel? Like this happened like already, but then when Beast had like his army and stuff, Strange coming back from the dead, you know, Tony drinking because of the stuff that he's doing with Rhodey and stuff. I absolutely love that now. Actually, we you know, see the future of Marvel. And then he keeps finding, like every time he time travels, one of the Twilight Court members are following him somehow. And we're like, what the fuck? But you know, we see Marvel's Unleashed right here. We see, you know, Logan being the Ghost Rider or having the Spirit of Vengeance. And at the time when this book came out, Spirit of Vengeance wasn't even out yet. Uh, then we see, you know, Carol becoming a fucking, uh, I forgot what that alien's called in the X-Men book that happened a couple months ago, but this is before that. And then he gets to like the Grand Canyon or some shit. And then he talks about the Ebony Blade. He, like, Kane just pulls it right out. Like, I absolutely love, I actually like the Ebony Blade a lot in Black Knight. So that's why I'm referencing this. But then, you know, they start fighting. And then he Kane time travels again, and this one's really cool. We see Uncanny Spider-Man, we see Luke Cage being a mayor for the game war, we see Jackpot with Mary Jane, Red Goblin, and Bishop in his, like, you know, the war college shit. I'm like, dude, at the time I didn't understand it, but now it's like, holy fuck, it all comes together. And then he gets the blue area uh, surface of the moon, and Kane's like, hey, listen, let's do trial by combat. If I win, you let me go. If I lose, you get to kill me. So he starts fighting one of the Twilight Court members, uh, can't hand combat and he's like starts fighting him and kane wins and he tells the twilight court or kane does and he's like mandarin is fucking with you guys he's just much of not a hero as much as i am and he just wants his personal gain and twilight court like huh mandarin out of the blue fucking stabs him and he's and everyone's like mandarin why'd you do that he won by trial by fight and mandarin's like he doesn't deserve that shit he deserves fucking death so that's when kane teleports and that's when we seen him in the avengers book and this is why you have to read almost everything in Marvel. And this is why I love Marvel so much. Everything's connected. And it's just crazy to me now that it took about a year. And now we get this shit. But the end of Timeless, right? We see, you know, Mandarin like have like little chess pieces right here. And he knocks down Kane. But we see the other ones. You see Doom. That looks like Mr. Sinister. Ultron. And I don't know who this is. Let me know if you guys know who that is. But yeah, those three right there. So it looks like he's after Kane's gone. He's going to start taking out Doom and everything. And Doom is a big part of Marvel right now, especially with the X-Men stuff. Now, let's go to Avengers issue 7. Sorry, guys. I just got to introduce those characters because, you know, some good information. We start off like this fucking, like, Earth just fucked up. And then we get the monologuing of, like, the Avengers. There, there came a day like no any other. Where Earth's mightiest heroes came together to fight a common threat type of shit. And we see Vision fucking dead. And all the Avengers are fucked up. Like, Sam, yeah, he's taking a nap over there. Thor's like, fuck. You know, Wanda's screaming in Captain Marvel right here. She has the Ms. Marvel suit on. And we're like, what the fuck is she wearing this for? And they start fighting this fucking creature right here. And this shit is fucking crazy to me because it looks like a Godzilla thing. But Carol comes up because, you know, she's a leader of the Avengers currently right now. And she's like, guys, we got to come together. Uh, if we can't save the world, but we can damn well avenge it. You know, some a common Avengers shit, which, you know, it is cool. She's like, Avengers, assemble. So they start fighting this Godzilla creature thing. And they're like... Dude, are they gonna die here? T'Challa sacrifices his fucking life, becomes the Tiger God, and starts fighting this thing. Tony uses all of his arsenal, everything he can, just to take it out. Thor comes in and fights, uses all of his God powers. We see Captain or Ms. Marvel, Captain Marvel, whatever you want to call it, to start fighting this Godzilla thing, using everything they can do. And Wanda uses like her magic powers 
and uses like Captain Mer or Sam Wilson's like fucking shield as like a magic barrier thing. It starts attacking this Godzilla creature. And we're like, what the fuck is happening? And they all fucking lose. The child's death is in vain. We see Mjolnir broken, Thor getting his ass beat. I'm just rolling. Tony just fucking just done. Carol just got vaporized and dead. Sam is just done too. And the last one standing is the witch. And she hears the person monologue in, in this comic book as a reader. We don't know who this is, but she hears it. She turns around and she's like, I know this isn't real. This is a fucking trick. And I don't know how this guy comes into part with Nightmare, but he's creating this a fucking illusion saying that the Avengers are dead and they're fucking losing. When Wanda sees it and she starts attacking Nightmare and she's like, Nightmare! And basically she just gets out of this illusion. She wakes up in the impossible city. She's like, Avengers! And all of them are knocked out. And she's like, man, they're still in this vision, but I'm not, but finally I'm out. But she hears something behind her and it's vision. And vision's just like one shot, no stim. She's like, they're here for us, Wanda. You, we gotta get the Avengers up. And it's the fucking Mandarin and the Twilight Court saying, where's Kane the Conqueror? I'm gonna fucking kill him. Guys, this shit is crazy. Please read Timeless and then read this book because this shit is a lot of information.